Thank you for joining us for News 4 Extra. I'm Michael Stanoff in the KMOV Newsroom with more stories for you. Fuel for a late night study session might be a little more expensive. Starbucks is raising prices on some of the fancier drinks while cutting costs on plain cups of coffee. Prices will jump about 10 to 15 cents. Company executives say they had to raise prices to cover higher costs. Now here's a heartwarming story out of Texas. This woman has a new kidney thanks to a stranger. What makes this donation so different is how they found each other. Michael Patton was searching through Craigslist to find volunteer work. He found an ad posted by a woman saying she needed a kidney. The recipient is a 62-year-old grandmother. She doesn't want her name publicized. She told Patton she had plenty of willing donors, but none matched. Michael did match, and he says he's glad he could help. Our severe weather kept us from telling about this woman yesterday. She's wearing a little black dress each day this month. She wants to prove you can be fashionable without spending a lot of money. All she does is add other pieces of clothing and change the accessories. She says no one seemed to notice. It's the same dress every day. Now, she is wearing a clean dress every day. She has two identical dresses and wears them every other day while the other one is getting cleaned. Texting is part of our culture. It's a quick and easy way to communicate, but it's also filled with phonetic abbreviations, bad grammar, and incomplete sentences. Some educators worry that texting is just one more factor in an overall decline of students' ability to write well. More and more students entering college are having to take remedial writing. It's a significant issue, and the, and the more course time that you have to take up doing things that you do in high school, the less you leave to finish the communication work that you want for somebody before they leave college. So it's a way of pulling everything backward instead of pushing it forward. Mark says there are software programs that allow phones to recognize shorthand and turn it into longhand so at least you're reading complete sentences. Thank you for watching News 4 Extra. I'm Michael Sanoff, the KMOV Newsroom. News 4 never stops.